Petunia Natural Park, the amazing phenomena of the nation's wonderland. Stretching before us, we see a vast panorama of nature's handiwork, beautiful rugged mountains, virgin territory, unsullied, unmarred by human touch. Well, uh, uh, practically. Anyhow, Petunia is the natural sanctuary for wild animal life. Here, roaming at will, may be seen the elk, the buffalo, the moose, and, uh, well, many other rare species, such as the Scrobolus americanus or the common tourist. Let us go with them into this scenic fairyland. At the gateway, we stop for inspection. These rugged, handsome rangers are here to help and guide you. There will be a ten dollars for the insurance. And not including the insurance. Two dollars for the insurance. Only two dollars. No and dang! What is this? Their motto is service. As we drive a few miles eastward, that's right, eastward, we approach the giant redwoods, towering above us like great cathedrals. Driving through this tree demonstrates the immense size of these giants. Whoa! I think perhaps we took the wrong detour. Let us leave our tourists for a few moments and take a hop over to the geysers. Well, some hop. These geysers have been brought here from all parts of the world at a great expense. But the granddaddy of them all is old dependable who never misses. Uh oh, there she blows now. Well, good shot, old boy. Now, as we join our tourists again and follow the mountain highway, we come upon a grizzly. These grizzlies are a very friendly lot and are always willing to pose for the many candid camera fans who visit the park. But this fellow seems a little shy. He must dislike publicity. A creature of nature's forest, he naturally is reticent and cautious. Don't give up, Mama. Careful. Hold it. Thank you. Well, here we are at last, all settled in camp. I wonder where everyone can be. No, not here. Well, look at this. A mother bear shaking down nuts for a young. Hello, nuts. Why don't you mind your own business? Okay, from now on, you're on your own. Ah, the fatted calf. Give me a slice of the white meat, boys. And here is Mama, inhaling a snoot full of nature. She stops to listen to the babbling brook. Far be it for me to talk. It's none of my business, of course. Oh, Somebody came over. Shh! I think someone's listening. Here's mud in your eye. Petunia is carpeted with a multitude of rare wildflowers. No, no, Mama. Don't touch. No, no. Oh, now you've done it. Must be lunchtime. Looks like we have company for lunch, Captain. Oh, that's no way to treat a guest. Captain, you brute. <laughs> Don't be selfish, Cap. One little olive won't make much difference. Uh oh, so, Jiggers, the cops! Feeding the animals, eh? I, I just found a little olive oil. None of your buck talk. But you see, I was. Oh, resisting an officer. No. Come on. Sure, and I'll have none of your lip. But that's not. Tell it to the judge. Oh, my goodness gracious. 
And as the day comes to a close, and night draws its curtain over the scene, at no curtain, all is so quiet, one can literally hear a pin drop. And in the solitude of the night, the dainty fawn timidly steals down to the water's edge to get a drink. Now for a good night's rest, the stillness broken only by the delicate, melodious chirp of a cricket. Morning finds our family packed and on their way home. Back to the big city. Oh, yeah? Ding, busted more trouble. Oh, Hansy, Blitzy, be nice, boys. Fetch the captain a pail of water for the car. And remember, no monkey shines. What's this? Remember what the captain said, boys. No monkey shines. Looks like trouble. Here's some nice water. Some for Lizzie. And some for the captain. So we leave Petunia. So long, Cap. See you next year. Not if I see you, Phil.